Elve. I'm Jennifer Okundia. On Tuesday, the 26th, the Lagos State Government, Governor Kiwumi Ambode, commissioned the newly erected Obafemi Awolowo statue just right here behind me. There's also a statue like this in the Allen roundabout. And today we are here to find out from people their reactions, what they think about the newly erected statue right here. We want to know what they think, what their reactions are. Some people feel the statue should be standing, some people should be sitting just like this. Come with me as we get reactions from the people. Hello, sir. What's your name, please? I'm Comrade Bolu Akindoi. Okay. I'm the Secretary Ratao Lagos State Council. Okay, sir. As regards the newly erected Obafemi Awolowo statue, what do you think about it? Wow, it's a very good thing in the right direction. It is a good thing to 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 make sure that we recognize our past leaders. Looking at the role that this man play in the not only in the politics of Nigeria but in the overall general something of the whole world. Yes. These are the f people that fought for the independence. And he was a journalist, a writer, yes. and you remember Nigerian independence was won on the pages of newspaper, unlike Mau trouble in Kenya and what we have in apartheid in South Africa. These are the people that are supposed to be recognized. And, and what I would like them to have is to have a brief story of this man and what he did for this country attached to this thing so that our children when they were going to the reason say i will love war. i think a little bit war? of um what he did for nigeria is written is actually written there uh, written yeah. there so if oh, you go there you would say uh, oh that will that 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 that, that will be okay, very one nice. more question sir yeah. what would you say to um political leaders in office currently, what do you think they should take from the fact that Awolowo believed in federalism, free education, free healthcare? What would you, what would your advice to the politicians be? Well, this will be an indication for them to change in their in their, in their perception to politics, so that they will know that whatever you do now, at least this man have died for a very long time ago, and we are still remembering it. So they should have a legacy that we leave behind them. Instead of fighting and all this type of kind of thing that they are doing in the house, they should have a rethink so that people can recognize them the way this man was recognized. And so you are indeed very happy about this erected statue? Very, very happy. And more of this will be done for other people that did the same thing. So all right, that sir. all other people will be embraced and will be strengthened to do more as this man do. Right, Thank you very okay, much. You are very welcome. What's your name? I'm Chimeze. Okay. So this newly erected Obafemi Awolo War statue, what do you think about it? I think it's nice. It's made uh, the place more beautiful. Like I was coming from uh, Ojota just some moments ago and I saw this erected. I think it's nice. It's, fun. it's made uh, uh, this place and shop right more beautiful. I think so. Okay. Awolowo believed in federalism. He believed in free education, free health care. If you are to advise the political leaders in office currently, what would you think, what do you think they should take from Awolowo's ideals? Ideas rather. I think uh, for uh, now, let me say I myself, I have a, a BS in microbiology and there are people out there who are better than myself, but they don't really have uh, the access to uh, education per se. So if I should say they should draw inspiration from him, try to make education affordable and available to every Nigerian upcoming. That's what I think. Hello. What's your name, please? Um, okay. um, do you know about Femi Awilowa? Yes, I do. Okay, who is about Femi Awilowa? Um, well, I, um, from what I've known, I know he's a philanthropist. Um, he's um, someone that has um, helped to like um, maintain peace and order in the country. He has a familiar, a peculiar story. As in, when it comes to okay, um, how successful has Nigerian be? Who is the brain behind Nigeria's success? I think Obafemi Awolowo will be amongst the list of people that will come up. Because um, he has been, he, uh, he was a prominent man, and um, I think he took Nigeria to a level at which we can proudly say uh, he's a great man. <laughs> there is actually a new statue just okay. there. Yeah, I saw it. So, what do you think about that statue? I think it's very cool. I actually saw it um, because it's been a while. I've been to Kedja anyway, 
So why come in here? I saw it on my one. I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is fabulous. Yeah, I, th I think it deserves much more than that. It's very cool. Okay. Um, about Femi Awolo War, I actually believe in federalism. Okay. You know, government that has to do with the people, the local government is involved, the state government is involved. So it was not just about the government, the people were involved. So if you had to talk to um, the political leaders in office currently, what would you say they should borrow from? Obafemi Awolowa. Okay, um, well, um, I think if I'm to address um, the government now, not just um, um, the federal government now, the state government, local government, all put together, I think um, they should emulate the fact that um, Obafemi Awolowa was, um, he's someone that likes carrying people along and he was so humble. Hello guys. Hi. Hi. I'm Jennifer from PM News. Um, do you guys know Obafemi Awolowa? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who would you say about Femi Awolowo is? Um, he was a polit politician in the western region of Nigeria. So, How about you? What do you think about about Femi Awolowo? Well, I just used to hear that he's famous and... What can I say again? She's shy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's shy. Yeah. Okay, what, do you, what are the things you know that Obafemi Awolowo has been able to do for Nigeria? What are some things you know about him? Uh, well, uh, I really can't remember. Because, okay, I remember that he, he did something concerning education. And that's why they established the university in his name. And this statue, I really don't know why they actually... <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the statue. There's a new statue they just erected not far away from here. And what do you think about the fact that a statue was erected here in his name? Hmm. I'll just say that they are honoring him and they don't want something concerning Awolowo to only be in Ife. They want something in Lagos too. So they also want people to remember the history, I guess. And many people have forgotten about things that happened in the past. So I think they actually want to um, enlighten everyone, so to remind them that yes, these are our leaders and everything. Okay, as regards the legacy of Afemi Awolowo left behind, what would you advise political leaders to do? What would you advise them? What kind of advice would you give to them? What would you say they should borrow from Awolowo? Well, they should keep on going good, but that doesn't mean they should not um, leave um, Nigeria out of, because there are some things that they do that are not nice. Like, for example, now, they um going to, what do um, you call it, money issue, this thing of money that um, they are not even helping the country. Well, I think that's all. It would amaze you to know that some Nigerians do not even know who Obafemi Awolowo is. After various um, opinions from people, some said they did not know him. Some said, a lady actually said, where is he sitting here? There's already one in Ikeja, so they should have used the money to do something else. Obafemi Awolowo lived a very good life. He left a legacy behind that politicians of today should emulate. We should have free education. We should have free health care. So that is, those are some things that politicians can borrow from the past leader and incorporate that into Nigeria to make Nigeria a better place. It's been Jennifer Okundia from PM News.